as a terrible disease takes control of his brain and so he starts to forget who he is. Will he be able to turn his normal life back? The Father is a British drama from 2020 and it stars Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Colman. Today, we'll review and recap the events of this movie. Let's check it out. Anne walks up the beautiful staircase of an old London building and into her father's huge, beautifully furnished apartment. She finds her father, Anthony, sitting in a lounge chair listening to classical music. She's irritated at him for throwing a carer out of the house, but he's insistent that he doesn't need any help. Anne says that the carer called him crying, saying that Anthony had been abusive towards her. He denies this and also accuses his carer of stealing from him. He claims he left a watch out to lure her and that she took it. Anne sits down to catch her breath. She despairs as she tells her dad that this is the third one he's kicked out. She also tells him to go and look under the bath for his missing watch as this is his favorite place to hide his valuables. He felt irritated that she knew his secret and returned a moment later with the watch. He appears to have forgotten about their little argument until she reminds him. He says she didn't steal it because he hid it in time. Anthony has calmed down in any case and brings up Anne's sister, which for some reason leaves her speechless. She keeps silent but then tells him she will have to move out of London. Finally, Anthony understands why having a carer is so important to her. She's met a man and is moving to Paris with him. Anthony is upset at the thought of her leaving him and his strong facade slips away as his voice breaks. Anthony bustles about in his kitchen to opera music as he unpacks his shopping and makes a cup of tea. He sings along tunelessly before stopping, as though remembering that he's forgotten something. Then, he's stopped by a sound in the apartment. He shouts to Anne, but no one responds. He talks to the silence, asking if anyone is there, but no one responds. He walks into the lounge and finds a strange man sitting in his living room. He asks who the man is, who seems confused by Anthony not knowing who he is. He introduces himself as Paul, but Anthony still doesn't remember. He says he'll call Anne as Anthony shouts at him to tell him who he is. Paul reveals that he's Anne's husband. The memories seem to come back to Anthony, but not quite. He asks if they're separated, seeing as Anne said she would move to Paris, but Paul says they're still married and has no idea what he's talking about. Anthony starts rambling about Anne in the careless, insensitive way that Alzheimer's sufferers do. His mood seems to switch out of nowhere as he shouts that he refuses to leave his flat. Paul reveals to Anthony that this isn't his home and that he's moved into their home. This is a frightening revelation that catches Anthony off guard, just as it catches us. Anne comes home, but looking at her, Anthony doesn't recognize her at all as she hands the chicken to Paul. It's a different actress, but she insists that she is Anne, so it must be Anthony's disease that's making him confused. Anne asks him why he's so upset and he explains the situation to her, how he found Paul in the flat. Anne tells him that she didn't know Paul and was separated from her husband James five years ago. This series of revelations pushes Anthony over the edge as he realizes that everything that's happened over the last few minutes was all in his head. In the same kitchen the next day, Anne returns played again this time by Olivia Coleman. She's speaking to a friend about her dad not remembering her and her hopes for getting a new carer. Anthony doodles in his bed as the new carer, Laura, knocks at the door. Anne welcomes her in and lets her know that her dad isn't best pleased about having a carer. After Anne briefs her on the situation, Anthony enters the living room and he seems to be in a good mood, though he's convinced he's met her before. Something about the presence of a pretty young woman has put Anthony in a great mood and he insists that Laura join him for a glass of whiskey. Anthony starts talking about his other daughter who is his favorite daughter who hasn't called him for a long time. Anne is mysteriously silent once again. He asks Laura what her job is, the penny still not dropping, why she's there, and she tells him that she's a carer. Anthony jokes, saying that's the sort of person Anne is always trying to get over to look after him. Laura asks him what he used to do. He says he was a dancer. While Anne interrupts and says he was an engineer, he tells her to be quiet though and gives an impromptu tap dance. He says that Laura reminds him of his other daughter Lucy. They all share a good laugh until Anthony's mood switches again. He's still under the impression that he isn't living at her apartment. His mood turns sour as he unleashes his anger and resentment on her, accusing her of stealing his home and not caring for him. The overall mood has changed to a very uncomfortable awkward one as Anne apologizes to Laura for his attitude. After saying his piece and souring the mood, 
He bids the ladies goodbye and takes off to his room. Laura is very accepting. She says it's a fairly common reaction when she's brought to people's homes. Anne looks in on her sleeping father and sits beside him on the bed, stroking his face. In silence, he puts her hands on his throat and starts to strangle him as he silently struggles. She snaps out of her daydream and is in the flat talking to Paul. It's the real Paul this time, played by another actor. She brings up that Laura reminded Anthony of Lucy and the mystery of who or where this daughter is. Anne is upset that she didn't recognize him when she came home with the chicken. Is this the same moment from before when Anne came home from shopping? The film really makes this unclear, so we remain confused just like Anthony. Anthony trots out his mystery of the stolen watch again, convinced that people are stealing his belongings. He comes into the lounge and spots Paul wearing a watch. He is on the phone and doesn't notice him. He asks for the time, suspicious that Paul is the made-up watch thief. Paul isn't a fan of Anthony because of the way he treats Anne and tries to get through to him about being nicer, while Anthony takes none of it in and continues to press on him about where he got his watch. Anthony starts talking about Lucy again. He says he hasn't seen her in months and thinks it must be because she's traveling. He talks about how he'd love to see her again and hug her like when she was a little girl. Paul doesn't take any of this in though. He's much more concerned with Anthony getting out of their home so he can stop upsetting everyone. Anne brings Anthony to a doctor's appointment. At the appointment, he mentions that she's planning to leave him for Paris, which she flatly denies. Later, she comes home from shopping to find Anthony struggling to put his jumper on. She sorts him out and helps him put it on properly. He seems sedated and calm, and in a rare moment of gratitude, he thanks her for everything she does. He overhears Paul and Anne talking about him. Paul says regardless of who they get to help him, his illness will only worsen and he can't stay with them forever. Anthony doesn't react to anything they say while sitting at the table. They share an awkward dinner while Paul's unhappiness is having Anthony live in their home seeps out of him. Anne gets up briskly and takes the chicken out. Paul pours a big glass of wine for himself and another as he reveals that they had planned to go on holiday, but they had to cancel it after he argued with the last carer. The next morning, Anthony wakes up to find Lucy's painting gone. Anne calls to him that he's confusing this flat with his own and that there's never been a painting there. To his surprise, Laura brings him his tea, not Anne. She says Anne is out and won't be back until later. Anthony apologizes to Laura for how he treated her and how she still reminds him of Lucy. Laura apologizes to him about what happened to Lucy. Anne tells her about his accident, but Anthony seems confused. He doesn't know what accident she meant and seems distressed, so Laura drops it immediately. Suddenly, the man from before is back who says he's Paul but isn't. Laura doesn't seem surprised by him being there. This Paul asks the same question that the other Paul asked him at the table. Paul slaps him once, twice, and three times as Anthony becomes more and more upset and starts to cry. Anne rushes in from the kitchen to confront him. Anthony has lost another day without even realizing it. The way this movie plays with our perception of time does a fantastic job of capturing the threat of Alzheimer's disease. It leaves us constantly anxious about what's going to happen next. In bed, Anthony is awakened by Laura's voice claiming to be Lucy and calling him dad. There's no one there, so he gets out of bed and follows the voice which leads him to the front door. He opens it and finds himself in a hospital as eerie music plays. The voice still calls to him, so he wanders down the empty corridors, finding a young woman in bed in a neck brace who looks like she's been in a terrible accident. The following morning, Anthony tells Anne about his dream. Apparently yesterday he gave her a little tap dance recital again, but he can't recall ever being able to tap dance. Laura is at the door, and Anthony is stressed about letting her in and her seeing him in his pajamas. Only, this isn't Laura. It's the same woman he mistook for Anne in the opening. Anthony is distressed, upset that his carer he liked has changed. He leaves to go and hide in his room. Later, Anne enters his room, but it looks different now. As Anne moves around the room, we will see that he's at a care home. She tells him she thinks this is a better place for him, especially now that she's going to Paris. Anthony gets out of bed and checks the time, but his watch isn't there. He shouts for Anne. His nurse comes in. It's the same woman who appeared once as Anne and recently as Laura. She says he's been there for a few weeks now, making him more confused than ever. The nurse tells him that Anne isn't coming over anymore. She's lived in Paris for a few months with a man she met called Paul. 
A doctor enters the room, this time played by the man who appeared to him as Paul. Anthony asks who he is, and the nurse says his name is Bill. He asks who she is, and the nurse introduces herself as Catherine. Seeing these faces makes us realize that Anthony may have been in this care home the entire time, and that everything he's seen has just been confused memories. He starts to talk about his mother and becomes more and more upset. He begins crying for his mother, calling her mommy. He starts to break down as the weight of the situation tears him apart. Catherine takes his hand and they sit together on the bed. She comforts him, telling him they'll go for a walk in the park and have something to eat. Maybe, if he's having a good day, they can have a second walk. He holds her tightly as she comforts him gently. The Father is a deeply touching and heartbreaking film that captures how Alzheimer's can destroy the sufferer's life. We travel with Anthony as he begins to lose sense of who he is and when and where he is. As the movie progresses, the story becomes more confusing both to Anthony and to the viewer. Hopkins is spellbinding as Anthony, and it's no surprise that he took the Academy Award home for this role. Beautiful, downplayed performances from all the cast portray having to deal with this tragic disease with simplicity, drawing us into its gentle, character-driven pace. Please subscribe to our channel to be notified when we upload, and don't forget to suggest movies that you want us to recap in the future in the comments down below.